Synthetic drugs have been circulating in Syracuse and were able to wedge into this man's life. In order to protect his identity, we've covered his face and changed his name. John Doe reached out to CMY Central to share his road to recovery, saying if he can stop one person from turning to synthetics, then he's made a difference. I wish I would have said no to that first one because it pretty much destroyed my life. Just three months ago, John Doe woke up in the hospital from a four-day coma. He was handcuffed to the bed, and the nurse told him when he arrived at the hospital, his heart was only beating 27 times a minute. I could have hurt myself or somebody else. Could have died, could have killed somebody, and that's not okay. Before heading to the ER, Doe was living and breathing for synthetic drugs. These substances took over his mind and his body. He didn't wake up until he himself woke up strapped to a hospital bed. It was at that point he realized the drugs were controlling his life and he needed to make a change. I have a son um, and the fact that I almost left him without a father is not acceptable. His 10-month-old son is the one beaming light in his tragedy. He's using him as his drive and motivation to never use and abuse again. As long as I make that conscious decision every day, not even every day, one minute at a time, to not pick up that joint again, things can only get better. Every day brings new challenges and new struggles, but he says he's going to continue fighting for the life he wants and deserves. Just a couple of days ago, uh, Doris Scheidel did a story. She's out on the street uh, with a guy who did an article for the New York Times, and she got video of people smoking it right there. They weren't, they weren't afraid. They weren't stopping because there was a camera there. Right. It's interesting. It's very prevalent right now. Yeah, the, the interesting thing is each packet has different amounts in yes. it, so it really affects people differently. And tough for the law enforcement to, to crack down because of that.